how to create vacation rental website on a Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a website special for vacation rental into your Wix uh, platform. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you're going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Wix.com then you are going to sign up for an account if you are not familiar with Wix and if it is the first time that you are going to use Wix. If you are familiar already with Wix, you are going to get to the site dashboard, of course, then you are going to create a new site. So here, let's talk about the beginners who did not uh, use Wix uh, from before. So you are going, when you have signed up already, you are going to get this page. So you are going to either try the Wix Studio or create on uh, Wix Editor or the standard one. Here uh, it, we are not going to use the Wix Editor. If you are interested in using Wix Editor or Wix Studio Editor, it, which is going to be a more professional, let's say here, uh, editor to use or it has its own advantages about the CMDs and etc. You can go ahead and check out our channel and get the uh, tutorial on how we can create a new website from it. But uh, we are going to click on create on the Wix editor for this um, video. So basically it is going to take you to this page, which is going to be the Wix ADI um, solution or the AI from Wix, which is going to help you to either start a chat and this chat is going to uh, put some questions for you and based on the answers the Wix ADI or the uh, artificial design intelligence is going to create a dashboard specific for your website and also it is going to have the design for it. So I'm going to use the manual one if you are going to click on start chat it is going to take no time for you to uh, set up everything so you are going only to uh, respond for a few questions. Now, for the manual method, what is the type of the website that you want to create? Basically, here we are going to type in the uh, website type, which is going to be vacational or vacation rental. We are going to type in right there. So you're going to see here the vacation rental. Uh, here we have vacation home rental agency, vacation real estate landing page, vacation resort, uh, and etc. So from these, I'm going to uh, set up here maybe the vacation home rental agency because we are going to play the role of an agency or also you can go ahead and put maybe a vacation rental just like that website. Then you are going to set it up as this and then you are going to click on continue. Either you are going to uh, put a agency or a particular website it is going to be the same. You can add the same feature in here. So, as you can see, we are on the dashboard that has been created. We're going to put here the name of our website, for example, Jack's, uh, Jack's uh, Rentals or House um, Vacation Houses Rental, for example. We're going to click on continue. Then we are going to uh, choose the apps that we need to add. Basically, the Wix Hotels is going to be the most needed app for these type of websites. Why? Because it is going to help you manage and grow the hospitality business and also uh, set up here the appointments for the rooms and the houses that you have. So you can go ahead and install the Instagram feed to show up the illustrations or the Images from the uh, vacation rental houses or rooms that you have. You can also go ahead and set up or sell videos. It is not going to be very practical for us, but we are going to add the events, the bookings, uh, the blogs or the forums. We need as to uh, the clients to submit some forms. Also, some chat for virtual assistance, pricing plans. You can go ahead and add for subscriptions or memberships portfolio online program groups file share these also for the restaurant menus you can go ahead and if you have a, a hotel you can go ahead and uh, let's say here put up some hotels if you have a, a complex 
uh, or a tourism complex you can go ahead and add these and food orders and table reservation as well so you are going to click on continue then you are going to continue to the dashboard once you have set up in here uh, everything you are going to get all of the elements that you have added like hotels table reservations here we have the property setup for example about everything so we're going to see here the property and everything so everything is going to be right so you can go ahead and click on start now and then you are going to install the app i think that or i thought so that it is not going to be uh, installed so we are going to click on add and agree and then we are going to add it right away do not forget to set up your payment methods from the settings in here because it is going to be very important for you to set it up and receive the payments so here you need to set up the payment method i'm going to show you where it is going to be so you're going to choose the country and based on the country it is going to show you different payment methods that will be in here so this is uh, as you can see the manual the paypal and also the stripe so aside from that we're going to head over the setup so you can go ahead and add in here the first room type and etc but what are we going to do is to click on design site so we are going to set up the design as usual for our videos we are going to use the both methods because here we have the method that we are going to customize the template and also we have a method which is going to be generating a design with the ai so we are going to click on pick up a template let me here show you the type of templates that you are going to find based on the type of the website that you have so we are going to see some best matches and also the most recommended as you can see here we have vacation rental company vacation rental company vacation rental company so we can go ahead and see here that we have thousands not thousands but here many of websites that are available and you can choose from them and they are going to suit you well so if you want to view a website just like this one you can go ahead and click on view and then you are going to see the desktop version also the mobile version of that website and see if it will uh, suit you for example like this you can navigate through booking a room like that and then you are going to add your uh, let's say your uh, rooms uh, just like that and here we have it also the rates or the prices from and also the uh, uh, checkout from the booking room now aside from that i'm going to not edit this site but i'm not going to edit it but i'm going to be back here back to the templates i'm going to try here to be back also in here we're not going to choose the template or if you are going to click on edit it will take you to that website but we are going to ignore that step so we are going to click on generate a design with ai and from here we're going to wait for the AI to generate a website for us. Basically, it is going to take the website type of yours and then it will transform it into a design. You can go ahead and tweak any part of the design that the um, website or the Wix ADI has generated for you uh, from the site description, the site type, the layout, the, the theme, and also uh, let's say here the colors and um, the appearances so you are going to get the site brief that means uh, when it is going to be written that means that the design is generated so you are going to get only one page and also a menu if you are going to put multiple pages for that uh, website as you can see we can modify the site profile the site structure the site description the theme and the layout each one of these are going to have here their own um, modification prompts and also editing to modify the design we're going to wait here for the design to appear and then we are going to let you see how we can modify them here we have our design as you can see it is a super design not only a simple design it has a lot of uh, as you can see animations a lot of features a lot of uh, sections or different sections that are going to be uh, very um, let's say here um, cool features or cool sections this is the first time that i can see here something this long or uh, having much so much elements like this 
So you can go ahead and have this and also you can go ahead and click on the site profile. You can add a logo so it will the AI will add the logo in here or you can go ahead and use it. You can have here the site description or put about something about your uh, description of the site and based on that it will uh, generate here uh, some text based on this description. Also for the contact info you can go ahead and put them in here just like that. That was for the site profile, but for the site structure, you can add here as many pages as you want. All the sections that are going to be in here, for example, for the home page, you have the home page, you have the welcome, the service list, and etc. And also, we have the uh, the properties, so you can go ahead and add here for the site structure or menu properties, things to do, reviews, FAQs, and contact page. You can go ahead and click on apply pages or changes that is going to regenerate the website and also add the pages. So here, as you can see, our website has uh, from uh, including only one page, it is going to include six pages. And with that is going to be here something that we can modify later, or we are not going to be obliged to add many pages from the editor after we have finished in this. So we're going to give it a little bit of time until the design is going to be remaking. You can regenerate the design or put uh, something else. Also, you can go ahead and select the theme and change uh, some colors like these. As you can see here, we have uh, the um, uh, photos or the, let's say, the illustration has been changed. So you can go ahead and click on theme and then you can go ahead and put a prompt like green themes, uh, darker themes or the colors of themes used also for the layout you can go ahead and put a, a layout or more text a cleaner layout you can see here some suggestions or shuffle the layout generating new layer layout and etc you can regenerate the design i have told you that before and also tweak it by tweaking the design it is going to change the placement of some of the elements also some of the designs which is going to tweak the layout themes colors and etc if you like the design, you're going to click on continue with this design. And if you do not want to buy a uh, your own domain from Wix, you can go ahead and click on continue to the editor and not waste the time for editing or put in some domains effort. So it is going to prepare your site in here and then it is going to install all the apps that are available. Uh, for the website or that we have uh, selected for the dashboard and then it is going to show you here the different elements sections management and also adding and also pages and menus management uh, as well as the site design as you can see so the website is fully loaded as you can see we have the different elements in here so if i click on one of the sections in here it will zoom in a little bit here to 100 percent so just like that and here we have everything so we can go ahead and click or see the, that we have a hamburger menu uh, included in here so we can consult our pages in here and everything that we can see uh, everything now back to that website uh, dashboard i want to let you see how we can manage this website so for the hotel you can go ahead and set up or add the property setup as you can see, and also the room types, the rate plans, the extras, uh, tax categories, markets, and etc. So this is a must to add to your, um, right there to the website because it is crucial to have these type of settings. So the uh, most important is not the website design, but it is going to be here. So you are going to set up the property name, for example, property type, for example, as an apartment. A part of property name here a beach for example view uh, apartment apart like that meant and then you are going to click on save create an apartment or the uh, property as you can see here you're going to set up the uh, first reservation complete the business information add the room type and also check uh, the rates and availability from here and then you are going to set it up so when you finish up the settings you are going to uh, add here the extra plans the tax categories the coupon codes and photos of the properties these are going to be some crucial steps 
that we can have in here so connect your property to online channels so we can survey it and also set up the uh, property facilities like the ac and etc that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you in the next one